Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How Tos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, the Prey AI review and tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out our days software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you use or start using the Prey AI here. Well, first things first is we need to visit their official platform or their official website, which is going to be thebrain.io. Now, from their official website, there are going to be some information that you could read through the website itself. So first, what is the Brain AI here? So this uh, platform allows you to actually create videos from AI avatar. So basically, you can generate content through the use of AI here without you actually recording yourself. We just need to basically provide the details like the text itself that you want to say or promote. So what are the cases where you could use this? Well, you could actually use this for training and education, for e-commerce, for media, for finances, customer support, social media even, and brand ambas ambassador if you need one. Now, they also provide you the features like, for example, AI avatars, which in this case, people that could speak in behalf of you. So you can choose your own AI avatar here to basically speak the text that you want. You can even choose the AI voice, which allows you to use our 80 plus languages. You can also use a team or, or workspace environment here. So if you want to add different people or different workmates or teammates into a workspace and basically work on different projects on what, that specific work phase, you should be able to basically collaborate and create your own content. You, have, you also have the video transitions, video templates, and conversational avatar here. So basically, you could basically edit, edit your own video with the help of AI here. So how do we get started? So what is the pricing here? So whenever you click on pricing here, you'll have the option to view the pricing that is available. So currently, they have the personal plan which is around $24 a month which is billed annually which allows you to uh, basically have one seat with just one user for that account 180 credits per year 60 plus AI avatars and 5 AI prompts per month 3 custom instant avatars dream avatar sent to groups series of videos and also no watermarks on the video itself they also have teams here which is around 72 dollars a month which is billed annually which includes three seats 360 credits 80 plus a avatars and new models and everything in the personal plan here plus team collaboration unlimited AI prompts five custom instant avatars get your control on multi avatar and a lot more they also have enterprise here which in this case you need to contact them for more details and how they would actually price you with a specific uh, plan so the great thing about Deep Brain AI here is you can actually try their services for free. You don't need to provide your credit card. So in their main homepage or their homepage here, you have the button that says create a free AI video. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now we need to sign up into the platform. So in this case, you could actually manually enter your details, like for example, your email address, name, and password, but you can also use your Microsoft or Google account. So I'm going to use my Google account here to log in. Just click on continue. And from here, we should be able to create our account. As you can see right now, this is the AI Studios here. So currently, we only have one minute here and one prompt for our video, since this is just an example or a sample that we could use. But first things first, what are the things that we could access here? So homepage actually contains uh, different details like templates that you could use, uh, use cases. Like for example, if you want to create a video for education and training, you could choose the education and training tab here and choose one of the available here. Now also have the option to basically describe what you want to do here so if you want to generate something you can add edit options and whatnot so yeah so you also have templates at the left side here which in this case you should be able to use one of the templates again you could go and choose whatever category here choose your template you also have the after section here which in this case you should be able to uh, choose one of the following avatars as you see right now could also create your own avatar if you wish so you, you could go and click on create avatar here and from here you should be able to uh, see instructions how to actually create your avatar now you also need to record your avatar here if you want to fully use it but for now let's just go ahead and go back you also have voices here which in this case you could choose or use one of the vo available voices here you could also create your own voice if you want to so in this case you need to allow your microphone and record yourself and they would actually start cloning your voice here for uh, basically for use on the specific for the cloning process but you also have the projects here which contains all the projects that you've created which in this case are videos 
we also have videos here which in this case your video is itself so if you want to invite your team members into your workspace you're going to click on invite members and from here you need to basically enter your email address but for in order for you to do that you need to upgrade your plan like what we said what we uh, actually viewed before so in this case is going to click on new project at the top right here and from here we want to start editing it so first is going to be the model so you need to choose your model here so for example i'm going to choose jake black here it's so going to select it as you can see it, he is now replaced into our uh, workspace here so in this case the next thing you want to do is you could go and choose a template for your presentation like for example if you want to use a work guide here you can go and choose work guide and choose the template here as you can see right and now so you can even add different uh, slides here as you can see at the very bottom these are the slides that we could basically use now if you want to change the person itself you can go and click on the person or avatar here choose the person or right person for that specific um, avatar so again we could choose the slides choose our avatar here and change this uh, for um, everything now this case is going to go back to the very first slide here now if you want to add your own text you can go to the text tab here and choose one of the following formats we have the heading subheading and a body like for example you want to add a title it's going to click on add title here you can reposition it as uh, whatever way you want so maybe for example i want to make it is a uh, lot smaller you can change the font if you want to you can change the color so let's go and make this white and you could also change the background color or even change the stroke if you want to make it bold if you want and uh, yeah so in this case uh we want to actually make this a lot longer let's just say this is going to be a hello there and again you could go select any of any of the empty spaces here when you select it all on the empty spaces you should be able to expand it from here let's go ahead and expand this one and from here you could also add animations like fade in whenever a, a text actually goes in here you can also drop add drop shadows if you want to as you can see right now you can add blurs offset and offset x and y here so yeah and even choose the positioning here if you want to bring this front so obviously it's going to be at the front here let's go and well, send it backwards the it's, it's now in the back of the avatar that we have here let's go ahead and move our text here at the center now you could also use the remove button here and why not so in this case you could also add captions here if you want to generate your captions but again you need to have a premium plan for you to use this you can add e or use or add or use media here for example if you want to use this media here for example i want to use uh maybe use one of them maybe this one let's go ahead and press it as you can see it's now added so i want to actually make this a lot bigger and i want to select this one and i want to select the layer here i want to actually send this to bottom as you can see it's now at the very bottom of our presentation and we now have our presenter at the very top our very top here as well as our text now also have we also have the option to add your own assets like images videos if you want to or even or even record your screen if you want to or upload your own so if you want to upload just click on upload here and choose your video or images and just select on it so you you'll be able to add it in here also add shapes here if you want to like for example if you want to add arrows like let's go let's go and select this one we can move this around and position it as we as much as we can as you can see right now uh, you can add even use a generate option like uh, generate some images or even generate videos so which is something really cool because you can generate your own videos and images here which is custom made for you now at the right side you might be wondering what is this one well in this case the right side here is actually our script so in this case uh, you could actually uh, use the single option here so for example let's go ahead and choose a single one so this is the only person that's going to actually say this one for example i'm going to say hello there i am me so in this case this is what the avatar is going to actually say on the video itself so in this case if you want to listen to it you can go ahead by clicking on listen at the bottom right and you should be able to hear the avatar talking into you so if you want to actually use a multi one like for example if you want to uh, uh, make it seem like the two people are talking to each other you could add another avatar here and use as you can see, the person or this avatar just talked to, and you can even select the AI voice. 
Now, if you want to change the AI voice itself, you can go and click on the English at the top right here. Choose the accent. So, for example, uh, Michael here, we have Samantha. We also have English, United States, and a lot more, like a uh, soft uh, a female. So, you could choose whatever you want here. So, you could, uh, you could also clone your voice or even record your own voice here. Upload your voice if you want to. But uh, once you're done uh, editing your video, you can go and click export. It's top right. And from here, you can export the entire video here or audio only. But your project is around 23 minutes here. That's what it's going to say here. So, yeah. So, in this case, uh, yeah. So, those are the basics on how to start using Deep Brain AI here. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.